Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my week 63 updates of my fitness journey and running and everything. Um, I'm gonna say this week was pretty good. I ended up running four days this week, which is my ultimate goal. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what I did this week and then we'll get on into some chitter chatter and then the progress photos. I've also been incorporating some videos by Pamela Reef into my routine because I really wanna get back into doing the workout videos because I wanna have a good variety of um, workouts and stuff, if that makes sense. So starting off Saturday, I don't work out as you guys know I just really take that day off and especially now since I've been having to get up super early I definitely take Saturday to like sleep in and everything and kind of do a lot of like YouTube stuff or just take the day off that's pretty much what my Saturdays consists of then on Sunday I did a 1.92 mile run and I burned 186 calories I like to keep Sundays pretty chill and stuff then on Monday it was a very challenging run I will say um, so I did a 2.23 mile run and I burned 213 calories and that run was so difficult I actually earned this little badge I think it's because I completed like week three on the couch to 5k app that is what the little award looks like. I always love it when I get the little badges cause I'm like, oh, I'm like improving somewhat. And then after that run, I did a booty workout. So I did a Pamela Reef booty workout. It was like 10 minutes, I think. Um, and it was no equipment. So I didn't use any of my like booty bands or resistance bands in that video. Um, just because I wanted to like have an easier time like working out my butt. Then on Wednesday, I repeated what I did on Monday, but I didn't do the booty workout. I just did the run because it was so difficult for me. So I ran 2.14 miles and I burned 205 calories. Um, it was weird cause like I burned more and I walked a little bit more on Monday, but I did the same run just because it was really difficult. Cause now I'm running like a lot longer periods of time. I watched this one girl's video and she was saying, oh, if you are having trouble with one run, just do that run over again, like the next time you run. So you're not just like pushing yourself too much. You're like, you're improving by repeating what you've done the previous day or week or whatever your plan is. So I just decided to do that run again. And then today is Friday. I did a 2.51 mile run. Um, I burned 242 calories. And honestly, most of the run was an actual run. Um, so now I'm running like a lot longer periods of time. It's just wild, man. Like I can't believe like I'm actually doing it. This is what the app looks like that um, I just finished today. So I don't know like how long I run for. Uh, but it's like the green things if you guys can see so that's what it looks like and that's the run that I did today I might actually repeat that one again just because it's really challenging and stuff also I did an ab workout today and I must tell you like I don't know what abs I'm using but my abs they don't feel weaker but because I've been using my abs in a different way I guess um doing the Pamela Reef like ab holds and like jack knives and stuff it's actually like pretty challenging for me again so I don't know like what's going on there I was able to do it it's just like for me I felt like it was harder than it once was so that's why I'm kind of glad I'm getting back into that okay so moving on to the updates getting up early is getting a little easier I'm starting to go to bed a lot sooner so probably like 10 30 ish is like when I'm trying to go to sleep sometimes I'm just not tired and I just like lay in my bed like thinking oh my gosh I wish I was asleep right now um, you would think with like getting up early I would get tired more easily but it's fine. Uh, I've been doing a lot more stretches. I find that sometimes like when I start running, like I can feel exactly where um, I'm sore and stuff. So that's also really interesting. This doesn't have anything to do with running, but ever since I started getting up earlier, okay, so I'm supposed to wear glasses, right? But I just don't because I don't want to. And I just have never, I've always been kind of like a rebel when it comes to that. Not that that's like anything dealing with rebellion in any way. It's just like, I just don't like to, I just don't like to wear them. 
but I've noticed as I've started waking up earlier the two different prescriptions that my eyes are seeing. So like right when I get up and I'm like starting my run or walk, I can clearly see that my eyes are two different like prescriptions, which is insane and it's kind of weird. So honestly, I've been wearing my glasses a lot more after my runs and like when I start work or just editing on the computer in general because I feel like my eyes, for some reason, if I get up early, are like a little weirded out. So that's definitely something I've also noticed when it comes to working out and waking up early to do a run. Okay, so I'm gonna get onto the story time and this might inspire some of you to start running, but why I really wanna run and like try to improve and stuff is number one, to like burn subcutaneous fat and just kind of like get that cardio in and it's like in a fast efficient way my aunt said that my metabolism will become faster and that's also good because i mean i don't know i just want my metabolism to be healthy and um also because i could never run um growing up i would always joke around saying that if an intruder or whatever someone was trying to capture me i'd be like okay just take me because i can't run honestly i don't like running it, never liked running it. I would always get a stitch in my side when I would run. And surprisingly that hasn't happened. My childhood was just always like, I hate running, don't like running. I would rather do like jumping jacks, burpees, mountain climbers, that sort of thing. And we had to do this mile run. And I'm sure you guys have had to do like a mile run, like in school and stuff. And my phys ed teacher in high school, like we had to do a mile run in the beginning of the year and a mile run after at the end of the year. So I did the mile run at the beginning of the year. And then when I crossed the finish line at the end of the year, my phys ed teacher was like, no improvement. And I'm like, oh shoot, man. I don't know if this story is like very entertaining, but that's another reason why I kind of wanted to start running and just like get motivated enough to do it because I was just like a hot mess when it came to like anything physical activity or sports. I mean, I did dance and I consider that a sport, but like, I'm talking about like other things, you know, other than other things that would like make me sweat or anything. I just didn't want anything to do with that. Um, I didn't feel bad because I'm again, I was like, I can't run. So like I already like had that mindset that I couldn't run and I couldn't do it. But um, that's why now like I can't believe I'm doing this. Like honestly, number one, getting up early and number two running. It's kind of in insane. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for like my rambly portion. I did want to tell that story and stuff. Um, and I thought that like my telling you guys about my eyes would be interesting as well. Um, so let's move on to the photos. So Alex on the left is the beginning of year two working out. And then on the right is Alex now. And honestly, I know that my hips look like a little wider and maybe that's bad, but I don't know. I've always had the like hourglass shape, so it doesn't really surprise me. And I don't know why. I don't think I was like trying to flex in this picture. That's just what it looks like. And then here's the side view. I know that these photos don't look like at all like I've improved maybe to some of you, but honestly, I feel a difference in my body just like in a different way way it's weird so how are you guys doing on your fitness journeys or just like being active or walking running going to the gym whatever you're doing right now i know that one of my friends is into cycling and i really want to try a class with her and stuff so hopefully in the near future like after i get vaccinated and wait a little bit longer until more people are vaccinated um i will go to the little cycle place because that's different and i've also always wanted to try like hot yoga because all these things like when I see people I'm like they look fit like maybe I should try that I don't know I like trying different things to see like what I like and so far I've liked everything I haven't really like hated anything make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye